Here we are at our target 1A from our chapter two study guide. We're asked to graph this corresponding line. Uh, and just looking at it, we notice that it is in y equals mx plus b. And we always know that we go ahead and start off with graphing our y-intercept. So in this case, we see that our y-intercept is negative three. So here is our x-axis and here is our y. Then if it is our y-intercept, we're gonna go ahead and go down three. The reason why it's called our y-intercept is because it's literally intercepting our y-axis. So that's where it's crossing at. Then from that point kicks in our slope, our m value. Now two is the same thing as saying two over one. And as a result of that, then we have our rise on top and our run on the bottom. So from this point, our y-intercept, we're gonna go up two, because it's positive, and then we're gonna run one. And then up two again and run one, up two, run one. So then we should see a line doing something like this. Again, that is target 1A from our chapter two study guide.